Hi, this is James. I'm one of the pastors at your church, if you don't know me. We haven't, some of them haven't seen each other eyeball to eyeball in a while. <laughs> hey, listen, if we can do anything, let us know. Secondly, we got some plans, even though the 4th of July parade is canceled in Urbandale, we got some plans at the church to make your 4th of July special, so pay attention and be ready. Hey, I want to talk to you about listening. James, the, the brother of Jesus, writes, be swift to hear. This is the first thing he says in James 1, 19, slow to speak and slow to anger. And I want to talk to you about the listening part because I think there's a lot of people that don't really know where a person's coming from, know their background, understand their hurts, their filters. I've got mine, you've got yours. I was picked on a lot growing up. I got a hard shell because of it. Sometimes I'm not very sensitive because of it. In fact, sometimes I'm very insensitive. I have a tendency to speak um, like like a serrated, rusty saw. And I, Paul says our speech should be seasoned with grace. And uh, I need God to help me. And I need you to love me through it, understand, and to speak truth to me in love, uh, with with kindness and with the, the right tone, and help me as I would try to do you and to each other. There's a lot of relationships that are hurting because of the stress of COVID, financial stress, no job, uh, and now the the racial tension, and the and the uh, tragic death of George Floyd, and and the hurt of many many people, and. Um, and I think that one of the things that the whole world needs right now is to learn to listen and uh, to each other, truly listen. I don't care what arena we're in, to listen. And um, my my wife and I, we're having, you know, we're we're on top of each other, you know, working home and that. And while while back, she said to me teasingly, laughing, that I can't quit work till I'm like seventy, and I've changed it now or 80, she said, I believe, and I changed it to 100. But I said to her, she said, well, you're driving me crazy. I told her it was a short drive. Of course, we're laughing. But I just want you to know that, you know, all of us can have struggles. I think there's marriages struggling because of all this going on and being on top of each other. And one of the answers to that is to have spiritual ears to hear and to hear each other. The Bible talks about prayer, and prayer is not just talking to God, but listening. So we got to listen, and we got to listen to each other, okay? We gotta listen to each other, really listen not just to words, but the heart, the intent. And so um, that would involve employers and employees. It would involve husbands and wives. It would involve teenagers to parents and parents to teenagers. You know, it involves um, uh, our neighbors and our relatives. Uh, you know, like really listen and with your heart and have compassion. Paul says, let your speech be seasoned with grace. In other words, lovingly. You know, words should be used to build up, to encourage, to uh, to love, to express words of forgiveness, to sp spread words of faith and words of hope. I mean, use those words. Another thing that if you got a lot of hurt, you know, don't use your words to talk about it if you want to heal because words give life. Your words bring life. And if you got a hurt and you keep talking about that hurt, you're keeping that hurt alive. Quit speaking it out loud. You can't help but maybe cross your mind, but don't talk. Don't let it come out of your mouth because it's like picking a scab uh, continually off a sore, never let it heal. So you've got to, you've got to be careful what you speak because it is life. And also the Bible talks about words coming from the heart. Out of the mouth, the heart's out of the out of the heart, rather, the mouth speaks out of the heart. Well, James says to be swift to hear and slow to speak, and then he says to let to receive with humility the meat, the, the word of God, the engrafted word of God. You see, when you're humble, be humble to receive the engrafted word of God. You go, hey, look, the word of God can change me. It can engrave. It's like like being engraven, like. Um, cut deep into me that changes me so that I see things different, I feel about things different, and therefore I can relate differently with others. And so, so uh, you know, be humble to realize, hey, there's some things in me that can change and use the Bible, the grafted word to change you. And it goes on down like later, and it actually says that it talks about religion in James 1 verse uh, 26. He says, if any man thinks him to be religious, and he says, and yet does not bridle his tongue, he deceives his heart, this man's religion is worthless. That's pretty powerful about your words. You know, James also says, should 
um, sweet and bitter water come out of the same fountain with your tongue? No. You know, we, we, we bless God, but we curse man. That's not good. We need to be careful of the words we speak, and we need to be careful to listen, to really understand, and it will help you then be able to be kind and gracious because if you really, no matter where a man is or what the, who they are, what they've done, what they're going through, if you really listen and know and know their story and understand their 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 history and the pain and the injustice or whatever else that they've gone through, or like myself being picked on the whole time growing up, hey, listen, you have understanding then, and you can be gracious and help them work through that and speak. So let's listen, 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 and be careful that we speak with kindness, with seasoned grace with love and with truth, and, and let's work together to make our world a better place. The world needs right now a lot of love, a lot of forgiveness, a lot of kindness. So whether you're speaking it or you're putting it on social platforms, let's be careful what comes out of our mouth and what goes on to paper, what we're communicating with others, that we can point people to Jesus, which is the answer to the world problems because hearts have to change hearts have to change all of us and it starts with us we the people of god hey i love y'all and i hope y'all have a good day let me pray for you jesus i pray you'd be with your people pour love in our hearts kindness and forgiveness that our speech be seasoned with grace may we forgive each other husbands and wives and children and parents and employer employees god and and uh, relatives and neighbors god and friends to friend god co-worker to co-worker god May we truly be kind and forgive each other, continue to forgive each other because you forgave us, not that they deserve it. You forgave us, so we're gonna forgive others like you've told us to do. And so we need your power, your spirit to make us supernatural forgivers, supernatural lovers, and supernatural in speaking by your spirit words that are seasoned with grace and love in Jesus' name. And we thank you for it, God. We bless you, God. Bless you, people. We bless the Lord and we pray that all of us will just really do our best to be all that we can be for God. Let's put Jesus very first of our life and live on. Amen. If you need anything, call us. Have a good day.